welcome then we will be continuing with our course and uh, now we will be going back we have seen what are all the different agriculture practices which have been which people were move, following it for the past so many years and what are all the impacts and if you have to do what are the concerns about from the micro level that is from the farmers level plant level farmer level village level and area level then what are the new practices with the uh, making use of the advanced technology in the term for precision agriculture purpose and what are the issues which are related to the uh, precision ag agriculture uh, activities now we will be just going back going another aspect which we can try it out on a large scale activities for crop production as well as towards food security this is what we call it as a climate start climate smart agriculture what does it mean by climate smart agriculture is same follow the same ag agriculture practices that can sustainability increase the productivity and by reducing and by complying to the climate related impacts like reduce water then reduce the greenhouse emissions which causes the climate change or, and also usage of fertilizers that means you get the agriculture practices need to get adapted to the forthcoming climate change impacts that is what is climate smart agriculture means so what does it what are the different constituents of that particular climate smart agriculture that is the actions on the farm level as well as beyond the farm levels then incorporate technologies now what and also policies institutional and investment availability or non availability now what happen is the farms yes fine how the farms will be affected by nature how the farm producers will be able to uh, sell it out in the market what are all the different institutional and investment methods which are available for growing these crops so all these practices all these things they have to be put integrated and look at it agriculture as a holistic approach rather than piecemeal approach i am a farmer i can do only this much and i am a person which is a water or pesticide supplier i can do this much so instead of leaving away all the things our goal need to be a food security for the future purposes and minimizing the damages crop damages and getting high field high crop yield conditions that is what is the goal of this climate smart agriculture now <clears throat> if we do this sustainable agriculture what happens is one thing is for the other human race the agriculture productivity increases the food security is assured for the farmers his income goes on increasing whereas towards the food security managers there is a some type of positive note and they can relax a bit for that particular area now another aspect of that management includes managing the farms managing the crops managing the livestock and other resources better or with knowingly what type of after learning this type of courses agmu courses which tells about different ways how to manage your resources produce more and increase the resilience and also at a multi level multi level in the sense farm level village level then regional levels now see i am interested these are all the things which is ideally need to be done but at the same time farmers they may not be able to implement necessary changes for that what is needed is some amount of institutional and in investment as well as policies need to be slightly modified or totally modified wherever it is needed so this is the another kind of agriculture another way of or another concept of food security in the, with reference to 
climate change in the future. Now, what are the different programs? This has been in the conception stage or to some extent it has been happening. So, there are FAO action programs are there, mitigation of climate change in agriculture incorporating all those areas. Then there are X act that is agriculture investment projects, there is a small policy changes, investment methodology changes as well as there is a use UN red programs which focus on the climate smart agriculture. What are all the problems? How do we come out in terms of technology, in terms of policies, in terms of institutional investments? Now, what is needed for us as a farmer? What I am supposed to do that? So, you may have to identify what are all the gaps, what are all the filling up of data which is missing, what type of knowledge which is missing with me like may be in understanding the policies and executing it at your level that is what I mean by the knowledge gaps. Then it is the agriculture is driven by knowledge not only your knowledge and the knowledge and the experience which is gained by other people. So, that climate change policies also can be incorporated in this type of activities that is what the climate smart agriculture which has been proposed. The main aim of the entire thing in the previous areas convert every drop of water to food that means the wastages of water needs to be curtailed. Every drop you add it there should be a growth related to growth otherwise some of the flooding uh, uh, irrigation types there is the return flow from the agriculture areas is estimated to be about 20 to 30 percent of the quantity of water which you give it to them that we wanted to use it for other people. So, what is how do we do it or how do you go about it is the multi level information should be there multi level in the sense you have the plot agriculture plot villages then area then region then the country of that kind of category with a different spatial accuracies maybe 1 meter, 10 meters, 100 meters of that type of data collection. Temporal is nothing but how frequently you try to do that daily, weekly, monthly or a seasonal wise. So, that should be done on a in a different geographical locations so that the water can be saved. Now, what do we do with this type of multi level information is the observations are carried out by different people with a different in information and they are not to be uniform, they are may not be in a same scale depending upon the convenience and the problems which they come out they have a different type of scale factor. So, those scale factors need to be rectified, it, there should be a common scale of merging all the data sets by georeferencing. Then it should be stored in a computer system, so that the input storage modifications withdrawal or output are using it in a different decision making information they could be make use of by way of integration of information. This helps us in analyzing the data not only today's data, this year's data or even the data which is collected 10 years back they may be able to integrated and analyzed that information can be disseminated to all the people either in the form of an advisory or in the form of a warnings. So, it is not only a regional or a area wise it will be at a individual level also individual level means see we have all we have our own mannerisms, we have our own ways of producing the results. So, some of them many of them if many of them are, are some of them are at least minimum one of them can be corrected or may be changed or something else need be done depending upon the availability of the things. What do you do when you compare integrate and then start adapting to the new technology, new methods of working what will happen is 
your goal is agriculture production is likely to be increased. When you increase the agriculture production, the food security of the country, food security of the area, food security of the individual families, food security for the family in terms of food availability for them as well as money availability for their own activities. They will all will get improved. The wastages will be reduced, redundancy will be removed from the system. So, what is needed information support is what we need to do is collate information. Collate information is nowadays uh, now after the uh, digital world previously getting a information is very very difficult we are not sure where that information is available. Now the first job is identify the information requirement for the agriculture related activities collate them collate in the sense it you collect it from a different sources then so that the knowledge gap I do not know and I do not know where it is available I do not know how to apply it this type of knowledge gap will be reduced in terms of and many of them what happen is the oral methods may is no longer going to help us in proceeding further. It should be measured, it should be monitored and it should be analyzed. So, another thing is on the community many of our descents in agriculture is the community level property related issues. The reason is the property information is not widely seen by others or it is not widely standardized by people. So, it is there in their own way and there is no standardization and as if you are written down in a piece of paper some 20, 30 years back the condition of the paper will be in a different mode. The maintenance of that type of record maintaining is one among the major issues in the community level property related issues. Then is about the resources management. This is the re natural resources, human resources, human resources what happen is he, natural resources they are there and they have reduced or they have not increased or of that kind of category whereas the human resources is may be measured by the knowledge base in the agriculture practices that need to be updated at a regular interval to increase the yield as well as in conservation of the resources. Now, conservation is one thing which is very good if it is practiced at the immediately. Now, what are the different technologies are available for us to do this type of job? Now, macro level as well as the micro level synergies they need to be understood. There should be a, a pyramid or the, or the, all the villages and the village practices at the bottom decision making should be at the top of the pyramid. So, that type of synergy has to come from for the agriculture production. It is not only crop, crop development, crop related factors, but also other peripheral factors or important factors like water, fertilizer, pesticides, machinery, human trained human, uh, uh, human resources all those things comes into pictures. Now, in this case what is happening is the grassroot level resources especially in the terms of uh, human resources that needs to be improved, their skills need to be improved. So, there is a skill development is needed, the developed is skill development is one thing everybody knows ok I get trained up. So, as a man as a person who wants to manage or who wants to do a climate smart agriculture, he needs to know how many trained people are there and where they are there, how, how they are employed can we use it for some other areas also. So, that same practices can be replicated elsewhere. For that purpose there is a need for a development of skilled developed people database. Now, See this is another digitization of a legacy database is related to the land parcels which are there in the villages which is coming up in the land records are not 
not maintain not, not they are not able to maintain it properly because of so many problems so that has to be come out so it should not come in the way of development then the last and the least is the crop water information system which needs to be updated at every time so that it will be available to all the people so that it, it will be able to get a better information driven activities. Now, so this is the need for the hour, how do we need it? What we were all talking about is, we were talking about the collation of information and bridging the gap between one, para, one activity to another activity, then georeferencing it. Nowadays, georeferencing is the only way of addressing a particular information. Because what we have seen, the physical identification or a reference numbers in terms of stones which separated one field from the other, they are all removed or they are all taken away. So, identification of this type of information is very difficult. So, we may have to go back to the georeferencing with that is nothing but Latlan identification which you get it on the even at your mobile and integrate those information. Now, the decision making, what is a decision making in this agriculture practices to grow for a first major decision is to go for a cultivation of that particular area or a uh, field to go or not to go. If you go, then what are all the issues? Whether sufficient amount of water, good seeds, fertilizers, if it is available, that is the major issue. In case water becomes the major issue, then do I have a alternative source? Alternative source in the sense, do I have a supplementary irrigation source wherein I can do that? When you do not have a supplementary irrigation source, then your dependability or success rate is slightly on a lesser side. So, that is how the, the sustainable agriculture could be done. This is what in the first lecture which we would like to sum up is, these are all the requirements, requirements can be done. Then we were talking about what is the geographical information, geographical information what is it? So, we will be able to talk about geographic information is nothing but geography, geography is related to the latlon of that particular portion of the earth's surface, information is of the attribute table, table which is described that and the entire computer system which manages that is what the system is. So, which will be able to see it in the next class, okay? next lecture, thank you.